Okay, so the first of our little applications, if you like, is trying to differentiate a function that's in terms of y as opposed to x. So we've got a function of x and y, and we still want dy dx typically uh, to work out our gradient often. But if our function is in terms of y, we could do one of two things. We could transpose it, and we can see that in red the first time I've done it. I could just rearrange and put y equals x to the power of a third, and we end up with a one third of a cube root function in there, okay? So we could go that way, or, well, let's work out dx dy instead. So let's work out the derivative of x with respect to y, which is really straightforward, it's just three y squared. And then if we reciprocate both, we get dy dx is equal to one over three y squared. So obviously the significant difference is that my derivative dy dx happens to be in terms of the function y. Okay, now all that may mean is if you're trying to evaluate the derivative at x equal to three, well you just work out the corresponding y value and then substitute that in instead, all right? So another example of that, x is equal to y squared minus four y. So again, dx dy is two y minus four. Um, at y equal two, we get zero. So I get 4 minus 4, which is 0. So dx dy is equal to 0, which means dy dx is undefined. Now, what does that mean in terms of a function? Well, if we consider the graph, uh, the graph of y squared minus 4y is, oh, well, if we complete the square, we can see it's y minus 2 or squared minus 4. So it's just a, it's actually a square root function, isn't it? So there's my parabola. Um, about the x-axis as opposed to about the y-axis and at the point where y is equal to 2 that's my stationary point and the gradient at that point is undefined because it's a tangent line is a vertical line so that makes sense from that respect if we do it old school if you like and rearrange this equation and get y equals we get y is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of x plus 4 if I differentiate that I get plus or minus 1 over 2 root x plus 4. Now, at y equal to 2, if I substitute that into the equation, x equals negative 4. And if x is equal to negative 4, again, I get a gradient that's undefined. So again, a vertical line. So they correspond. It's, a, it's more a case of which way the math is a little bit more straightforward for us. Same question, except this time we've got the gradient at x equal to 3 specifically we're interested in. So again, I know dy dx is 1 over 2y minus 4. At x equal to 3, what's the corresponding y values? So I need to solve at x equal to 3, y squared minus 4, y equal to 3. And if I do that, I get y is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 7. All right. um, so that's the point that I'm interested in. So dy dx is 1 over 2y minus 4. So I substitute that y value in. Uh, 2 by 2 is 4. I get plus or minus 2 root 7 minus 4. Force cancel. So I get plus or minus 1 over 2 root 7. Is the gradient at that point. All right, so it's just really keeping track of what variable we're working with. Um, whether you're working at dy dx or dx dy and then reciprocating it. Those sorts of things. Right. Uh,